Okay, great. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, I think we will be starting now. Um, uh, let me first introduce myself. My name is Igor. Uh, I'm uh, the intended parent partner and program coordinator uh, at World Center of Baby for the LGBT community. I uh, just quickly wanted to say about World Center of Baby that we're a full service surrogacy agency dedicated to creating new life while ensuring and safety of intelligence. Just a second. Yeah. Just a sec, we have a couple more people joining us. Uh, hey, Ellen. Um, I'll, I'm just going to uh, switch off the video for now, and I will turn it on after I finish my presentation, if that's okay. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, just, I'm going to talk in short how we're going to do the webinar today. Now, uh, I'm going to do a short presentation and will be followed by our invited guests. Unfortunately, uh, Pedro Martinez is unable to be with us today due to COVID, but hopefully he recovers soon and we can get him on on our next webinar. Uh, well, we have been working very hard in order to expand our company internationally so we could guide all intended parents through the surrogacy journey, irregardless of their marital status and sexual identity. As an agency, we have been working in Ukraine for more than three years, and we've had more than 70 uh, successful intended parents that went through surrogacy programs in Ukraine. But unfortunately, Ukraine has a very uh, strict law with surrogacy. It's only available to uh, heterosexual married couples which have a medical problem in order to conceive. Uh, but because we had many requests from uh, uh, a lot of single parents and, uh, uh, and same-sex couples, we found an alter alternative and the best solution for this was Colombia for us. Um, uh, let me just do, quickly add some more people and we will start. Okay. One more person coming in, and we can start the presentation. Uh, and by the way, um, the presentation will be recorded, and uh, on Tuesday you you will have received the full uh, webinar on your email. So if you miss something or you know if you have some problems, don't worry, we will send you a copy. All right. Um, uh, guys, can you just write in chat again if you can see the screen, just so you know, uh, uh, my screen, um, if it's mirrored, just so we're on the same page. Joining us. Okay. Can you see the screen, guys? Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, can you see me? No. Okay. Perfect. We'll start then. Mm -hmm. Uh, the desire of parenthood is natural and same for all human beings, irrespective of their gender or sexual identity. 
uh, bringing a baby into this into the world into your family through surrogacy is one of the greatest joys you can experience not only will you be having a baby that you dreamed of but you'll also follow will form a bond with your gestational surrogate and her family this isn't like no other surrogacy is a safe way to have a family you desire uh, although surrogacy is an emotional and financial process of building a family of your dreams, uh, it's a process that requires medical and legal expertise, as well as strong emotional support through the journey. This is where we come in. Uh, for heterosexual couples who want to have children, surrogacy is often one of the last options they consider. Following time-consuming and emotionally and physically exhausting consultations with fertility specialists. But for gay couples who want to have kids, surrogacy is one of the only two options, other being adoption. Uh, it is a lengthy and expensive process, and because of differing laws from state to state, it can be an even more complicated process for same-sex couples and prospective parents. For gay intended parents, uh, surrogacy can feel complex. The need for an egg donor, a gestational surrogate, the surrogacy laws of the LGBTQ plus community, finding a surrogacy agent and IVF clinic, there's just a lot to do. There are many milestones through your journey and working with an agency uh, can help you uh, to navigate through the, the events throughout your journey so that you can focus on the most important thing, preparing for the arrival of your baby. Uh, surrogacy is a wonderful option for same-sex couple parents who are ready to expand their families. This path to parenthood allows members of the LGBT community to fulfill their parenting dreams while maintaining a genetic link to their children. Um, surrogacy for the LGBT community. Uh, every year, more and more gay couples from all over the world are having babies via surrogacy to enjoy parenthood. However, the route to surrogacy is not easily. Uh, especially for the LGBT parents seeking surrogacy. A lot of research planning is required before entering this enormous emotional and financial enterprise. For example, US has experienced an increase of 300% of same-sex families from, from 2004 to 2014, which is an, uh, a very big increase. Uh, the rise in same-sex parenting is partially due to the increase in options available for same-sex couples to become parents. Although most children of same-sex couples are biologically linked to one of the children uh, of the parents, a growing number are the result of donor insemination, foster care and adoption, and obviously surrogacy. So strap in, take on your notepads, open your laptops, and start doing your research today in order to have a full control and understanding of your personal surrogacy journey. What is involved in a surrogacy process? A surrogacy journey is a monumental experience, but also a complex process. The process itself can be broken down into five major milestones with many mini milestones within. Consultation and sign up, that would be the first. The first step in surrogacy process is one of the biggest ones, making the decision to grow your family through surrogacy and choosing an agency. Uh, intended parents will also match with an egg donor and create their embryos if needed. Matching with surrogate. The matching stage is one of the most exciting. Intended parents will find amazing women who will, who will help them grow their family. A match will be presented to both the surrogate and the intended parent. If both parties are interested, they will now be officially matched. Number three, medical screenings and legal work. Uh, during the medical and legal phase, uh, the gestational carrier will go to the intended parents, the IVF clinic, for her medical screenings. Uh, from there, she will receive a protocol and begin her medications and monitoring at her local clinic. Parents will work with their lawyers to draft their surrogacy contract while their carriers work with her own lawyer. When the time is right, the surrogate will have to go to the IVF clinic for the embryo transfer. Many intended parents attend this milestone uh, in person and spend time with their surrogate. Uh, once uh, she returns home, she will continue to go to her local clinic for the testing until there is, fingers crossed, confirmation of a heartbeat. 
Number four, pregnancy. Pregnancy stage is usually the longest step in surrogacy journey. Uh, during this milestone, intended parents will continue to develop a strong couple of people still joining in last moment okay um sorry a little bit of technical difficulties <laughs> apologize for that ah um, uh, pregnancy. The pregnancy stage is usually the longest step in surrogacy journey. Uh, during this milestone, intended parents will continue to develop a strong bond with their surrogate as she shared updates of her pregnancy and the baby. She'll be released by her um, clinic and will continue the ultrasound check-ins. On the on 20 week ultrasound is a big milestone that many parents attend in person. You will also be given a choice to do this online so you can do this without traveling to Colombia. It's also a good time for intended parents to tour the hospital where their baby or babies will be born. Uh, intended parents will work with their lawyers and local council to establish their parental rights. Per parents will also... Uh, intended parents will work with their lawyers and local council to establish their parental rights. Parents will also prepare their baby's arrival, packaging, and booking traveling. Parenthood, the last stage, where Ella is, and hopefully we will talk about that as well. The moment has arrived when intended parents finally meet and hold their baby for the first time. Uh, I'm sure it's an absolutely magical moment, and hopefully we get to talk about that as well. Uh, when the doctor releases the baby from the hospital... Austria. We're all banning travel from the UK. <laughs> Literally, they're granting flights. Yeah. I have no fly zone. Uh, and they're talking in the UK about keeping London as tier four until all of the vulnerable are vaccinated. I'm going to go back to London. Targacy in Colombia. Um, surrogacy law is a very complex subject, which varies from country to country, even with some states, regions have different laws, uh, such as the case is in Mexico. Although surrogacy for heterosexual intended parents and same-sex intended parents is largely similar, there are a few factors that separate gay surrogacy from surrogacy for straight singles and couples. It's important to understand your rights as parents and what the surrogacy laws in your state or country and in that state in which your surrogate mother resides. While there are no surrogacy specific laws in Colombia, there aren't any bans on surrogacy in Colombia either. The constitution states, children born in or out of wedlock, adopted and procreation naturally with specific assistance have equal rights and duties. Surrogacy for singles and same-sex couples is possible in Colombia because of article 43 of the national constitution of Colombia. Uh, states that women and men have equal rights and opportunities before the law and can be subjected to any type of discrimination. This was recognized in the Colombian Constitutional Court, a landmark decision in 2015 that ruled that excluding same-sex parents as potential adopters was a limitation of the right of children to have a family and not to be separated. In addition, in sentence SU214 of April 2006, the Constitutional Court uh, ruled that same-sex marriages were legalized, that all judges and notaries would be therefore obliged to perform that ceremony under the same conditions required for heterosexual couples. Thus, same-sex couples have the same rights and obligations as heterosexual couples or singles, including the right to pro procreate. Um, it is important to understand that everyone born in Colombia or to a Colombian surrogate is considered a Colombian citizen. And under Colombian law, all Colombian citizens, irrespective of dual citizenship, must produce and present a Colombian passport to enter or exit out of the Colombia. So at birth, uh, the baby will receive a birth certificate and soon short after, it will receive a Colombian passport.
uh, what's involved in the surrogacy process? Just uh, a little bit of terminology for you guys, so you're aware. Uh, PBO, uh, pre-birth order, a court processing that establishes parental rights prior to the birth of the child. PBOs are only available in certain states. In other states, it may be possible to obtain a post-birth order, is what we do in Colombia. And second parent adoption, uh, it permanently establishes the non-biological parent's right to the child. Usually this is done through the second partner. It's advisable to obtain a second parent adoption, even when it's possible to obtain a pre-birth order or a post-birth order. Parents should know that not all states recognize uh, parentage conferred on this way. By contrast, adoption are recognized nationwide. Uh, this is why we would recommend for all our IPs, which are starting already in the final stages of making a decision, uh, is to contact their local uh, lawyer or solicitor, which specializes in family law, planning or immigration, and they would be able to help you out with understanding the exit process for your country. And uh, we're going to shortly, quickly talk about Salagem. Um, I wanted the, 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 the main reason I wanted to, for Pedro to come in is to talk about the clinic. But again, like I said, unfortunately, he's unable to be with us here today uh, due to COVID. But I will try to talk in short um, kind of information. And maybe Elad will also share uh, some information with him that because he went through the whole process. Uh, WCB uh, in Colombia and Salagem. Uh, we have been working very hard in order to expand our company internationally so we could guide all intended parents to the surrogacy journey, irregardless of their marital status or sexual identity. Selegem is a Latin American center of genetics and molecular diagnostics. Uh, Selegem puts their patients first, giving them high quality services under the care of their qualified team of specialists in reproductive health in the areas of gynecology, psychology, genetics, embryology, andrology, nursing, and are always working on the welfare of reproductive health of their patients. Specialists in fertility, genetics, and assisted reproduction. They've been uh, on the scene for more than 10 years and have, uh, and Dr. Martin, mm, Pedro Martinez uh, has been working uh, in embryology for more than 12 years and is considered one of the best doctors in Latin America. And we're very proud to have this uh, partner in Latin America uh, to help us with our programs. Uh, Seligam can be characterized by a broad portfolio of innovative services in the biotechnology area with an emphasis in development of biology, human reproduction, cell culture, and genetic therapies to contribute to the welfare quality, reproductive health of the patients. So why choose World Center of Baby in Colombia? Uh, all our packages are unlimited number of IVF attempts with donor eggs. Uh, affordable prices with promotional prices currently available for offer. Uh, no hidden costs. Extensive egg donor database, which I will demonstrate a little bit later. If you haven't got access to it, please contact me and I will be able to give you access instantly. Individual approach to each intended parent. High level flexibility. All Bogota-based surrogates and no waiting list. Although we have been getting many requests for 2021, so please get into contact uh, with me in order to understand the kind of timeframes you, you, you're expected to see. Uh, uh, surrogacy options in Colombia during COVID. Colombia has fully reopened its international borders from 1st of November. All Bogota-based surrogates, um, this is a big advantage due to travel restrictions. We always have the egg donors and the surrogate mothers available because they're all stationed in Bogota, Colombia. With the launch of our clinic, Alice, also in Kiev, Ukraine will also offer to all our intended parents an option to come to Ukraine to do all your uh, blood work, to do all your serology, uh, your spermogram, uh, and prepare um, and prepare for freezing your biomaterial and we're able to assist with shipping to biomaterial to Colombia. So this would uh, mean that you wouldn't have to visit uh, Bogota for your first visit in order to sign all the documents uh, to begin your process. Um, 
the medical serology checkup, spermogram freeze biomaterial for shipping directly to Colombia or ship their biomaterial directly to the clinic in Bogota and sign all the documents remotely online. So again, please contact me for more information about the surrogacy during COVID and what you can do to start as soon as possible. I've compiled a, a few questions uh, from uh, intended parents, uh, popular questions, which I wanted to go through. Uh, this might uh, give you some more information uh, what you look for what you're looking for. Uh, so how do we decide on the egg donor? Who becomes the biological father? Well, like anyone selecting an egg donor, gay, singles, couples, review an egg donor database, which I can provide and look for a, a woman who meets their certain criteria. They may choose an egg donor based on their appearance, her intelligence, her artistic and athletic ability. Perhaps they will select someone who looks like one of them or resembles a close family friend. Lastly, they may select an egg donor during, uh, during using on our egg donor database. Once an egg donor is selected, their intended parents must decide who will be the biological father. Many gay couples des desire two children, in which case they will create embryos using the same egg donor and the, and the biology of each of the dads. Some of the eggs will be fertilized with one dad's biology and the other half will be the second dad's. Uh, how are parents and surrogates matched? Uh, intended parents and surrogates are both uh, screen prior matching. Uh, we then review the surrogate and the intended parent's profile and the preferences to make a recommendation of the best potential match. The intended parents and surrogate profiles are exchanged and if they both agree they would like to meet, will help to set up a video call. After the call, if all parties are interested in moving forward, they're considered matched and both sides move and begin negotiating uh, further the, uh, the steps. Uh, what happens in the case of medical complication? Uh, the contract in all forms at the hospital make clear that the intended parents are, are responsible for decisions about the child once the child is born. While the child is still in utero, the surrogate will agree to make a decision that do not harm the child unless her own health could be compromised. If surrogate's health isn't as at risk, her health will take priority. So uh, what would be uh, the relationship between the intended parents and gestational carrier during and after the pregnancy? Uh, a strong relationship between gestational carrier and intended parents is only beneficial to help you to, to ensure a smooth journey. It's also helpful after the journey when the parents share their child's birth story with him or her. No two journeys are the same and are very unique. And this type of relationship between a gestational carrier and the intended parent is different for everyone. At a minimum, a minimum carrier and intended parents are asked to connect via video at least once a month. However, many communicate multiple times a month and even daily. Surrogates and intended parents have shared with us uh, throughout the journey. They have become like family and many go in to keep in touch after the baby's birth, even visiting each other and uh, uh, get, getting vacations together. Uh, for parents, a strong relationship with their surrogate enables them to feel uh, a part of pregnancy and to be uh, open and honest about their feelings and desires in pregnancy process. Uh, just quickly to follow up on the medical complications, uh, all our uh, guarantee programs feature uh, a full insurance which covers any potential medical complication that could happen to the surrogate mother. So the next question, uh, whose name goes on the birth certificate? Well, by, like I explained before, by Colombian law, the baby will receive a uh, birth certificate and it will state the surrogate mother's name and the biological father. Uh, though through a court order process, you will be able to remove that surrogate mother uh, and will have a birth certificate with only one biological father on it. But this will be a decision of intended parents and would depend solely on their preferences. So again, does insurance cover, cover everything? Yes, the surrogate mother's insurance covers everything that could potentially go wrong. I think this is one of the biggest advantages choosing uh, us as an agency and working with Selgem. How long does the surrogacy process take place? Well, it really depends on each individual case, but uh, typically it takes around 15 to 18 months on average. 
So why should you choose World Center of Baby? Uh, the ability to protect your rights. Our legal special specialists help confirm that your parental rights are firm and safeguarded. We'll help you legalize your uh, parental rights and make your exit process as smooth as possible. Our experts will help you, uh, I'll help intended parents in drafting the contract between them and the surrogate mother, as well as registering the baby immediately after birth. The baby is entitled to Colombian passport that will be issued approximately two to four weeks after the birth. Both the surrogate's name and the biological father's name will be initially be placed on the birth certificate. The surrogate will then sign a legal document relinquishing all maternal rights. Experience working with LGBT individuals. Our team um, is, is experienced in the legal rights of the LGBT plus community and stay educated as the laws change. Colombia has specific laws and regulations for same sex intended parents working with an agency that has expertise in communication helps to ensure a positive and successful journey for all intended parents. Partnership and support through the uh, entity of your journey. Uh, couple oriented surrogacy agencies such as ourselves can provide intended parents with full service support through their journey. World Center of Baby has amazing accountants, program managers, lawyers, and social workers in their team, which allows intended parents to have their journeys managed by one of the at one agency, eliminating the need of third parties. Healthy surrogate mothers and egg donors. All of our surrogate mothers and egg donors are lo local Colombian women and reside in Bogota. They all undergo a medical screening process before being accepted in the, into the program, and they must have at least one healthy baby derived from a successful pregnancy. Uh, they are going to be under the supervision of Seligam Clinic, who will monitor the mother's pregnancy according to the highest standards of Western pregnancy protocols. They undergo all the pregnancy tests they need in addition to per periodic blood tests to ensure their overall health is maintained, leading to a successful birth. The surrogate mothers are very well looked after throughout the whole process with an independent charity organization looking after them uh, at every stage. High quality medical services. World Center of Baby is happy to work with Dr. Pedro Martinez, a senior embryologist in Colombia who has assisted thousands of parents on their IVF journeys for, for the past 20 years. Uh, with the Latin America Center of Genetics and Molecular Di uh, Diagnostics, Seligam, specialist in reproductive medicine, genetics, assisted reproduction that make a medical part of the surrogacy journey safe and smooth for every party involved. At Seligam, they are always looking to put intended parents and surrogates uh, as their patients first, providing them with high quality services under the care of qualified team of specialists and reproductive health in the areas of gynecology, psychology, genetics, embryology, and andrology. Uh, suitable cost and surrogacy program packages. At World Center of Baby, the main goal is to make the intended parents uh, surrogacy journey as pleasant as enjoyable as possible. This is why all our packages are based on the needs and requests of the uh, intended parents. We offer a safeguarded and professional packages at the most comfortable cost with a step-by-step -step payment. We advocate a policy of no hidden fees and professional ex experience in international surrogacy agency. With its main office located in Kiev, uh, Ukraine, World Center of Baby has a profound understanding of the whole surrogacy process and ex expertise in dealing with international intended parents. And finally, uh, we understand that each intended parent's surrogacy journey is unique. Our mission is to make the surrogacy process accessible to all couples, providing you with the best personal support during the surrogacy journey. At World Center of Baby, we believe in providing opportunities for all to achieve the happiness of parenthood. So please, please contact us today to get more information about our surrogacy programs. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me let me just turn Elad. uh i apologize if it didn't go as smooth as possible this is my first uh try on the webinar so hopefully by next time it will be a bit more interesting and a bit more dynamic uh well i, I would like to let's say thank you so much for Elad for, to, for joining us
uh, we really appreciate your time uh, and your feedback that uh, you can provide from your experience. If you could just provide a little bit of background on yourself, uh, that would be sure. great. So hi, everyone. Very nice to meet you. My name is Elad. I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel. Um, and my, my partner and I uh, have had uh, a baby girl uh, through Selagem seven weeks ago. Um, and we're still in Bogota because of Israeli bureaucracy, but we're, uh, we can't wait to go home. Uh, and I'm happy to tell you about our decision-making process leading us to pick uh, Selagem and then what happened throughout the process and pregnancy uh, and, and after pregnancy process. Perfect, thank you so much. Uh, well, um, yeah, if we could start maybe uh, why you decided to, to choose Colombia in the first place and how you, you got to that uh, position and why you made the decision to move forward. Okay, so we were uh, looking to start our family and in Israel for gay parents, there are two options. You, could, you can't adopt by law, uh, but you could either uh, create a, a family which is called, it's like a, a mutual parenting family uh, where you partner with a, a straight or lesbian woman and you have a, a biological child together and raise it together in two separate houses. Uh, but that, it didn't uh, fit our uh, agenda so much. So we went with the other option and the other option is surrogacy. Uh, and surrogacy um, in for gay couples uh, is available in, in uh, the US, in Canada, at the time in Albania. Uh, and Colombia was a new program that we started looking at. Um, the, I don't know if, I, I'm assuming you've all done your research. So all of these options have uh, advantages and disadvantages. The, um, the safe option that everybody considers is the US. Um, uh, surrogacy process in the U.S. is around one hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. You, they do not accept uh, twin pregnancies because mm -hmm. uh, it's the it's the norm now in the U.S. They don't uh, they don't want to hazard or or, or put the the lady the the surrogate in danger. Mm -hmm. So it's only a singleton. Uh, and there's the the issue of uh, after birth. Uh, insurance costs or hospital bills in case of a preterm uh, birth uh, and you cannot get any form of insurance as, as mm -hmm. an Israeli. So it's a, it's a major inhibit uh, to, to selecting the U.S. option. Okay. Uh, and although I've heard of some of some scary stories, even in US, the medical bills racked up to more than 100, 150,000 on top of that. Right. So, and then uh, you have to negotiate with the hospital and they they often reduce the price, but it still uh, ends up to be a, a quite significant uh, addition to the surrogacy cost, which is significant as it as it as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's the US option. And in the US option, um, it takes time from the moment you sign the, the, the agreement to uh, the to the time you either fly there to give sperm or you send sperm from your own country. And then it takes a few months up to six months usually to be matched with a surrogate. And then she goes through the uh, screening process sometimes before the match and sometimes after the match, which means that you could be pregnant or start the first transfer after nine, nine to 10 months. So that's, uh, that's the US option. The Canadian option is altruistic. So the uh, surrogates cannot be, um, cannot be paid for their services. Uh, their expenses are covered or reimbursed, but they are not paid. Uh, and so the, the process could be dragged for a few years. And our upstairs neighbors, also a gay couple, have mm -hmm. been in the uh, Canadian option or have been working with the Canadian agency and have been trying to get pregnant for the past three and a half years. So wow. when we were considering surrogacy, they said, just not Canada. Okay, I, we, so, we actually had a, a call with a, um, a Canadian uh, surrogacy specialist lawyers and they told us uh, it's very smooth right now. The matching process is usually done in by one, two months. 
and I just couldn't believe that. So that's it's nice to understand I, that the actual reality uh, behind behind the story. My experience well, with Canada is very limited. I'm not aware of every single case. I'm just aware of my of neighbors, course. my upstairs neighbors' case, and that's what they told me. And then we decided to forego Canada mm. as an option. Uh, another option that was available in Israel when we started uh, was Albania. And it was uh, an option available through an agency called Tammuz, uh, mm -hmm. but um, there were limitations uh, with the, uh, the program, meaning the uh, surrogate mother never goes off the birth certificate. So according okay. to Israeli law, uh, uh, a child cannot have more than two parents. So if the uh, biological parent and the surrogate remain on the birth certificate, it means that the second parent cannot be the, par the legal parent of the baby at, at, at any given time. So that went off the table as well. Um, and we, we started looking for options. Uh, and we came across the, the, the Selagem option. And I, uh, Igor said that he would uh, share with you some of the donors' pictures. The, mm -hmm. the donors are beautiful. Yes. Uh, and uh, I've seen uh, donors from the US, I've seen donors from Albania, I've seen donors from, from Canada. Uh, there's, there's no competition here. Uh, I agree that, that the ladies are absolutely stunning. You know, in the in the beginning, uh, I thought uh, when we before we signed a partnership with Sergem, uh, I thought maybe it could be like fakes. It's they're just too good to be true. But we actually had a colleague that went to Bogota three weeks ago, and she was in the clinic. Uh, she saw the egg donors and the surrogate mothers that came in. She she said she was absolutely baffled by you know, uh, how, how well they look after them uh, in general, how well they look after themselves. Uh, so yeah, I think the, the actual uh, egg donor profiles is one of the best I've seen around the world. And that's not a kind of <laughs> pushing it, it's, it's the truth. And I'm yes, sure Dr. Dr. Pedro is working with model agencies and, um, and they've been uh, offering us beautiful, beautiful uh, ladies uh, to, to partner with. So this was a, a, a crucial decision point. Uh, we want to give our kids the, the best chance in life and uh, a, a healthy, beautiful mother or beautiful donor helps. Um, the, as Igor mentioned, all expenses, all insurance costs are covered. Uh, the, in, in, in the case, if I'm comparing it, uh, comparing it to the US, the NICU costs are covered because a NICU in the US um, an EQ is, in, if you're not familiar, is an incubator. You put the baby if there is a preterm birth. Uh, an EQ in the U.S. costs five thousand dollars a day, uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, and here, the the costs are covered. So uh, your all your medical bills are covered till the moment you leave Bogota, because the 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 baby is covered by the surrogate's um, medical insurance. So everything is covered. Um, there's a, a very short time to surrogate, meaning when the, the day we came to Bogota to sign the agreement was the same day we met the surrogate and we signed an wow. agreement uh, with her. Uh, so there's zero time to surrogate and uh, a very short time to transfer. It took about, what, a month, two months? To about a month or, or two to, uh, mm -hmm. to start the transfer process. And it has to do with the, uh, with the surrogate uh, cycle. Um, so it, it's not completely up to the clinic. Um, and the clinic offers us, we, we are, uh, uh, we wanted, we wanted at least two kids. So a, a kid from every biological father. So, and the clinic offers us an option to have two kids with less risk in the U S most Israeli parents, uh, opt to do a twin pregnancy because they're saying, okay, it's a long process. It's a tedious process. Let's do it once and get it over with. Um, but there, there are a lot of risks associated with twin pregnancies and the option to do two parallel um, surrogate, surrogacy journeys here with two separate uh, surrogates is a, is a good alternative and it reduces the risks for uh, preterm birth and risks for the baby. And so for the surrogate mother as well, yeah. And for the surrogate mother, of course. Um, and lastly, the, the prices here are much more affordable in, than in the US and, uh, and Canada. Mm -hmm. So those were our decision, uh, like our criteria for, for selecting Selagen.
Fantastic. Well, th thank you for your answer. I was wondering, did you not feel a bit strange, though, still when people hear Colombia, it's, uh, you know, a, a little bit scary for some people uh, because of, I think, the negative associations with Colombia and crime and things like this, and they kind of feel a bit more scared to deal with the country that could pot potentially be uh, dangerous for them. Do you have anything to comment on that? Uh, yeah, so for, we... from, from your visit to Colombia, how you found Bogota in general? So bit. Bogota is a, is a wonderful city. We came to Bogota a year ago, no, a year and two months ago, so last October, uh, to give sperm and, and not, not having visited uh, Colombia before. And uh, Colombia is much safer now than it used to be 20 years ago or, or 15 years ago. Um, and uh, the, the streets are clean. Uh, everything's open in uh, Tel Aviv, where, where I'm from. Everything is under quarantine. Restaurants are closed. Here, everything is open. Um, the, the people are extremely nice and polite. Um, we've, been, uh, we've been having a, a good time here uh, while we uh, waited for the, um, for the birth and after birth. So uh, we didn't feel at risk at any, at any point in time. Okay, great. Because uh, it's it's concerning for many parents, you know. E even traveling to just a, a new countries is concerning, but uh, obviously that this involves a lot of emotional stress through the journey. So uh, I, I, I'm trying to ask you, how long did the clinic ask you to come before the births to Colombia? So they didn't ask us to come. Uh, usually, the uh, the birth is planned for around the week, uh, the, the 38th week of pregnancy, mm -hmm. because they want you to be here around the 38th week of uh, pregnancy. But in our case, our surrogate uh, went into bed rest on the 28th week mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because of, uh, we want to go into details, her cervix was too short. Um, so she was in bed for, uh, quite a few weeks and Bogota or Colombia in, in general was closed for international flights till uh, September 21st. Mm -hmm. And uh, our birth was planned for uh, November 1st. But okay. as soon as they opened the borders, we said, instead of waiting in Israel and working mm -hmm. from home, we're going to wait from, we're going to go to Bogota and work from home here. Okay. Uh, so we arrived to uh, Bogota on October 5th um, and she gave birth, luckily, uh, only on October 30th. So mm -hmm. at the end of her uh, 36 week of pregnancy. Um, and so we were here waiting, uh, but uh, I preferred to wait here on the other option. Sorry, did you say 36 weeks of pregnancy? She 36, yes, she gave birth at 30, 36 weeks of pregnancy. Uh, we, I prefer to wait here and be present for the birth than miss the birth and wait in Tel Aviv. Okay. Well, uh, do, do you have a relationship now with the surrogate mother? Uh, how, how did you get matched in the first place? And if we could just talk about the actual surrogate mother side of, of, of the journey. Sure, so uh, the, the matching that was done uh, last year is different from the matching that is done now. Uh, we were matched with uh, Daniela, the surrogate, mm -hmm. uh, without, um, without prior uh, coordination between us and the surrogate. So the, the, the clinic decided for us. Uh, they ran all the tests, they ran all the, uh, they made sure that she's fit psychologically, um, health issues, everything. And then they matched her up uh, with us. Um, she wasn't the first surrogate that we were matched with. There was mm -hmm. a, a medical condition with the first uh, surrogate that we actually met when we came to Bogota and the clinic decided to replace her with another surrogate and, and took the decision uh, on their own. Uh, we've been in constant uh, touch, which is very important for us, with the surrogate from the first day of, of matching, uh, and we've uh, shared our so lives question. with the uh, matching. Was that a result? The change of the surrogate was that a result of uh, a medical procedure, for example, like there was a transfer that didn't work, or just strictly from medical test that they they deselected her. The first transfer didn't work with the other surrogate, and then they find out that she had um, an issue with her ovaries. 
So they said, okay, let's not take another risk. And they replaced her with another survey. Okay. And, Thank and, you. And what about the relationship now? Do you keep in contact? So we, are, we, we kept in close relationship throughout the pregnancy. We know her family, we know her mom, we know her son. Uh, we've shared uh, things about our lives. Um, we, uh, we went jogging and sent her pictures. We made food at home and celebrated holidays and, and birthdays and sent her pictures. So we kept in, in close relationship. And when we came to uh, Bogota, we met them uh, quite a few times. We bought her son a bike. Uh, we, we took them to dinners and, and uh, had ice cream together. Uh, it's important, I think, in, you don't have to, by the way. I know intended parents that uh, were not in any contact with their uh, surrogate. I think it uh, increases the commitment on both sides. Um, and you, you want the surrogate to be committed uh, to the process and to you and feel that, you're, that you care about her and her family um, so that she takes good care of your future baby. Um, the process now is different. There's a, a, a foundation within the clinic that um, takes very good care of the surrogates and understand what their goal in life is. If they want to start a career, if they want to start a business, if they have a dream to move to a different city, if they want to provide for their, uh, for their children, uh, and they help them become more independent throughout the process through um, training and, and giving them education and so forth. And they also match them with the intended parents. So we're in, in two processes. We've completed one process and we're starting the, uh, the other process. And for the new process, I had a, a call with the uh, intended surrogate and uh, we were both given the opportunity to present ourselves and ask questions to the other side. Uh, and then the, the coordinator for the foundations, Maria, asked both parties if they are willing or, or interested in, in continuing this relationship and going into um, a surrogacy process together. So we, we both said yes. And we, in, in January, we are gonna do the, the next transfer. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of responsibility taking on. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm soon about to be a father as well. And I think until the moment you actually take your uh, baby in your hands, I, I think it's still slightly unbelievable that it's happening. So, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's great. I'll tell, you, I'll, I'll tell you a story. When our surrogate gave birth, because of COVID, unfortunately, we were not allowed in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, because usually if you do a surrogacy with Celagem, it's, uh, they give birth in a private uh, clinic called Clinica de la Mujer. And, um, and both parents are, uh, both intended parents are allowed in the hospital, in the clinic. And uh, in most cases, you're also allowed in the delivery room, providing your surrogate agrees. Uh, but our surrogate called me the, morning of the birth and said, Ella, no tiempo, there's no time. And uh, the, her doctor recommended that she goes into a public uh, hospital next to her house because mm -hmm. Clinica de la Mujer was 40 blocks away. Um, and I said, no worries, we're gonna meet you there. But the, the problem is since it's not a private clinic, we, we weren't allowed in. Mm -hmm. uh, so we waited outside and luckily the, the, it was a healthy birth. Uh, she, uh, she gave birth uh, two hours later with no issues. The, the baby was uh, healthy, the, the surrogate was healthy and they were released from the hospital 24 hours later. So 24 hours later, she, uh, they escort her on a wheelchair. They escort the, the ladies out on a wheelchair out of the hospital and she's holding the baby. She gives me the baby and says, Bye, we'll talk. So that was my first uh, experience Ooh. with, with uh, my daughter. She was handed to me outside the hospital and the surrogate said, see ya, <laughs> let's talk later. Yeah, like, like I said, each, each, each individual journey is very unique and you know, there, there's some changes, but thank you so much for sharing a, a personal story. So um, you will be beginning for, for your second journey very soon then. And are you yeah. planning to stay in, in Bogota or are you? No. 
No, no, we're only we're only in Bogota because of uh, Israeli bureaucracy. Okay. Uh, the actual afterbirth process with uh, Selajem it was uh, efficient and ha has become more efficient uh, since uh, since we completed it because there are four other couples here from Israel and we've met them all uh, and. Uh, they can now complete the afterbirth process for Colombia, not, not for your mm -hmm. home country. For Colombia, within two weeks, two and a half weeks, you, uh, you have a, um, uh, a birth certificate and a passport and you can leave. The only wow. problem that Israel doesn't accept us with the foreign passport right now, so we have to wait for the Israeli passport. But uh, it takes, uh, they're very efficient about it. There's a new uh, head of coordination and uh, in legal called Ezekiel, and he's extremely efficient. Uh, and uh, the, they streamlined the whole process and now two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks tops after birth, you can leave. Wow, that's, that's amazing, <laughs> actually. Uh, I mean, I, I usually tell people uh, on average, it's a little bit longer to not get everyone's you know, hopes up that it can be sorted out as fast, but that, that's a very, very impressive timeline. I, I, I was wondering, how, how is the feedback from the Israeli embassy in Bogota? How's that communication been going on? Has it been difficult or? Not at all. So no. Israeli embassies around the world are used to gay parents uh, wanting to have babies. Um, building and growing your family is a big value in uh, Israeli culture, uh, and they're extremely helpful. Uh, the the only the, the bureaucracy is back in Israel. Okay, uh, okay. is not here. Great. Uh, I want to uh, ask our attendees if you have any maybe some questions uh, for special guests uh, before we end the webinar. Yeah, because I don't want to take too much time. Uh, I really appreciate for everyone coming in today and carving a little bit of time from a Sunday. I know the holidays are uh, very close. Uh, I want to wish everyone a happy Christmas, uh, you know, and enjoy your holidays. Hopefully 2021 will be a bit smoother than this year <laughs> for everyone. Uh, do you have any questions for uh, anyone? Yes, just a, a couple of questions mm -hmm. uh, for the special guest. Number one, thank you so much uh, for sharing your story and congratulations uh, thank for, you. for the birth as well, your daughter, um, and best wishes for the, for the transfer in January as well. Thank you. Just a couple of questions. Um, how long was the wait for the surrogate um, as one? And then the second one uh, relates to the exit process. Um, do you have a timeline for um, the change of name on the birth certificate? Yes, okay. So the, as I said before, the, the time to surrogate was zero. When we came to sign the process and give uh, the sign with the, uh, the clinic and give sperm, um, we were presented with the surrogate the next day. Uh, and we went and signed the agreements with her and went and had it notarized and everything was, was done at the same day. But those surrogates were not the surrogates that we ended up with because as uh, what I mentioned earlier, she had medical issues and she had to be replaced. You also sign a, a power of attorney giving the uh, coordinates at Selagem the option to replace your surrogate in case they need to. So everything was done in remote. We luckily everything was done in remote because uh, during COVID we were unable to come to uh, to Colombia. Mm -hmm. uh, Igor mentioned earlier that in uh, some cases you attend the uh, ultrasound down on the on the twentieth week. We weren't able to enter Colombia till the end of, of uh, September, uh, but it's not necessary because uh, actually in at Celagem uh, an ultrasound is done every month and you get the pictures to your emails. Uh, so, so that was the first question. The second question is uh, about the exit. Sorry, sorry, just related to the first question. So, uh, you mentioned that the process had changed now with the foundation. With your yeah. second surrogate, is there any delay as well in timelines for the surrogate or is it exactly the same, like 24 hours? So it's not 24 hours from signing because we signed in October, but we got, uh, we were assigned the surrogate right after the call, after the initial call. And... Uh, uh, we are now waiting for the transfer, uh, which is pending her uh, maternal cycle. Thank you. You had another question about the exit. Uh... Yes, the exit process um, for how long it's taken to have the name change on the birth certificate, please. Okay, so that hasn't been done yet. Uh, what happens after birth is that you go with the surrogate and sign an agreement with a local lawyer that would later... Um, 
represent both you and the surrogate in, in court here. Uh, and they would remove the, the name of the, um, what happens is you do a DNA test here, a local DNA test that proves that you are the biological father, but it also proves, they also test the, the surrogate mother. It also proves that she has nothing to do with the baby. Uh, and then they take the DNA test results and they submit it to the court uh, alongside with a declaration by the surrogate mother that this was a surrogacy process and she has nothing to do with the baby and they remove her name from the birth certificate. That should take uh, about three months from birth. We, we usually say it's between three to four months, but that's the, that's the average That's time. what the, what's the, what the um, um, local lawyer uh, I'm sorry, she just woke up. Uh, <laughs> what the local lawyer uh, told us, uh, they should take around three months. Thank you. And, and then we would be able to, uh, when we go back to Israel, it's not allowed in, in Colombia, of course, because they don't accept two gay parents for uh, a one baby. But once we go back to Israel, we could add the other parent as, as a full legal parent to the child. Thank you. Well, uh, again, thank you so much, uh, Elliot, for taking out your time. We really appreciate uh, your feedback. I think it's been very useful for everyone to hear, uh, you know, your experience and your journey. And again, we, uh, everyone, I think in, in the chat, everyone is congratulating you on the birth. And uh, we wish you a successful transfer and a happy, smooth second journey as well. Uh, thank again, thank you so much for your time and uh, thank you everyone for attending and uh, just so you know, we'll be sending the um, everything on Tuesday. If, if you missed anything and we'll send you all the information and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me anytime on my email. Now you have uh, my number so I'm waiting for a call guys. Again, thank you so much and happy Christmas and lovely holidays to everyone. Thank you. I also added my uh, number in the WhatsApp group uh, for this webinar. So if you guys have any personal questions or, or questions that you prefer to ask in private, you're welcome to contact me and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much again. Uh, uh, say hi to your daughter and your partner from us. And we, we love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Okay. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.